Your girl is back. <laughs> hello, hello, veggie fam. It's your girl, Ashley of Furbish Veggies, coming to you with another Test Tuesday. And I'm back from my little break. I know I took like a, a, a week, maybe two weeks. I don't know, but it was a break. <laughs> and I'm so happy to be back, you guys. Yes. And this week, you clicked on the thumbnail because we are going to be taste testing Wicked foods it's shiitake broth you know it's ramen season it's gonna be ramen season what's gonna be because it's still hot in texas but you know what i mean you know fall is here so you know how we guys do for test tuesday all right we take a vegan plant-based product we taste test it we give a star rating and we wrap up the video at the end because why spend your money honey why spend your money honey if you don't have to i'll do it for you and of course you know to stay in touch with me on a consistent basis on the daily baby you can follow me here here are all my socials here and let's get into this review shall we okay so that lighting was really bright so when you see the next frame and it's not so like bright just know i had to adjust baby i didn't know but that take was so good i did not want to repeat it i did not want to repeat it i, I mean melanin was popping so why not but still you know i know it was a little extra <laughs> but here is a closer look shout out to wicked foods what's pretty cool is this is a brother owned business okay look they got their little picture right here isn't it cute they're chefs and they like to utilize humble vegetables um which i think means like humble beginnings they look a little struggle like um but we can still appreciate them and love on them at least that's what i interpret when we say humble vegetables <laughs> This because I was at Kroger and I was like do 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 on my usual and I saw this they have a whole selection they have oatmeal they have um, curries they had ramen I mean so many cool things they had mayo I think I'm gonna try the mayo next um, but so cool and they're plant-based baby 100% plant-based which we love I love a good uh, ramen and I love that it's a shiitake broth and you mommy is gonna pretty much like really take me there with the savory and like the sweet balance. I'm so excited to try this. And pretty much what you do is you go ahead and you do a stove top. You're gonna let it simmer and then um, add your seasonings in. And what I think is pretty cool is they tell you why not try. They give you suggestions on what to put in it. Now for today, because I wanted to do the essence of the broth, we're not gonna add that much in there except the noodles. But this is really cool for you guys at home, for you to like know what to put with it. It's completely vegan. It has ramen broth made of just shiitake mushroom, um, seaweed, ginger, soy sauce. I mean, and I'm thinking that's where that umami is gonna take place, baby. It's 170 calories. Um, but I'm just super excited about this, you guys. So let's get into this. Okay, you guys, so you kind of saw what it looks like as it was, you know, doing its thing, simmering. I mean, look at that. Oh my God. What I didn't speak to while I was actually like giving the ingredients in the listings, um, what I thought was pretty cool about it was that it actually has the mushrooms in the packet. Like, look at the mushrooms in the packet. Isn't that really cool? Um, so you truly get those aromas that they were talking about and it comes with a separate seasoning packet as well So what you'll do is you'll allow it to simmer for five minutes and then you put the seasonings in there But does it taste as good as it smells? Let's see Oh my god y'all This is really like Comfort in a bowl I have some noodles in here, but we're really here for the broth, right? That's what we're here for, so. Mmm. Such a sweetness to it. The mushrooms give it that savory that you want. The sesame seeds. Honestly, I don't know what the sesame seeds do outside of just give it some flair. <laughs> um, it's not like they were toasted. Um, at least I didn't think they were toasted. And it's a lot of them, so I don't know if they contribute a lot. The green, I think it's dried green onions in here, um, which is really good, but it's the mushrooms that's giving it. It's so savory. I mean, look at this broth. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. I can see this like if you just wanna feel good and you just wanna like be wrapped up 
This is perfect for the fall. Um, based on like what I'm giving, of course, it's a five out of five stars. Five out of five stars, baby. It is perfect. They knew what they were doing with just balancing the different flavors. It's um, I'm gonna look at it just again so I can make sure. Cause yeah, I was getting the ginger. And I was wondering about that. And then they have carrot juice in there. And it is something about that sweetness of a carrot. Honey, that just take it to another little level. The mushrooms, obviously, is the star. You get that onion. But yeah, I'm definitely tasting that sweetness from the carrot. And yeah, it's sweet. It's the spring onions that's actually in the packet for the seasonings. I mean, they did an amazing job. I mean, why am I so surprised? When chefs tend to like create their own things, they be knowing what they be doing. So kudos to the brothers. Yes. I mean, is this something you guys would try? I like ramen, so. But I'm always looking for that savory, just filling, comfort, but a blend of flavors like that. And I love putting ginger in things. I love mushroom. If you're not a mushroom type of you know person, that might not be for you, because you will get a, a big old whoop out the packet, okay? Big old whoop. Out the packet. So let me know if this is something you guys will try. Let me know. I'm excited for this. You know, I'm, I'm getting back in the game and we starting out strong with a five out of five. Okay, so make sure to comment below. Let me know if this is something you would try. If you've tried it, what do you think about their products? Okay, let me know below. And thank you guys so much for tuning in with your girl Ashley of Fergalist Veggies, where we're always cooking up fresh greens on a daily. I am gonna link this below so you guys can go to their website and check them out. Also, check out my cookbook, y'all. Check out my cookbook. I got a cookbook, you know, show some love. It's on Amazon, so check me out there. And I will catch you guys next week. Bye.